Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alec Reed. This is my channel Alec Reed and today we are reading Marriage of Heartstopper fanfiction by Heartstopper underscore fan22 on Wattpad and today we are reading chapter 121 flash party flashback part one. Um, in this flashback Charlie is 14 and Nick is 16. This is before Harry's party and Charlie's birthday. They haven't kissed or confessed their feelings for one another. It's just pretty friendship as as <laughs> we're calling it for now um but anyway like subscribe leave some comments down below and if you want me to read anything in particular leave it in the comments and i will see and i almost did the outro um <laughs> um so let's jump right into the video chapter 121 party flashback part one charlie's perspective why are you so smiley? Tao poked. I nudged him back. No reason, I say, sounding unconvincing. He scoffed as he realized why I was so happy. It's Nick Nelson, isn't it? I dully replied. Maybe. He shook his head in disapproval. Charlie, what has he done to make you so happy? And are you sure he's being sincere? I laugh, knowing I was about to sound very stupid and very desperate, but I didn't care. It was freaking Nick Nelson. No reason in particular, just that after last weekend, when we h hugged and hung out at his house, and then went to mine the next weekend, we became really close, and now we're like really good friends. I pause before I could continue feeling my face go bright red maybe even best friends we text all the time and he only hangs out with me when we're at rugby practice he ditches me for his mates tao shakes his head firstly i'm your best friend and secondly he's joking around with you toying with your feelings i saw my form room in the close distance so before departing with Tao, I said, I know you're my best friend, but he's like a best friend. Trust me, he could never replace you. No one can, if I'm being honest. He smiled and waved as we departed, me doing the same. Nick's perspective. His curly black hair that framed his sharp jawline, his natural dusted pink cheeks, topped off with his baby blue eyes that danced when they looked at you. What was happening to my stomach? What was happening to me? My stomach was doing flips and I couldn't keep my eyes off Charlie lately. It's not like I have a crush on him. I don't feel this way about Imogen and she's a girl that I have feelings for. I guess, well, that's what everyone says, that I have a crush on her. Charlie is different from her. He's so kind and sweet, and I could stare at him all day. I want to be with him every second and hate when I'm not at school because I'm not around him. He's my first real best friend. He's, he's not like Harry and Ben and all those slags. He actually cares about me, and I care about him. I've been invited to this party. It's at my friend's house, and I've been friends with her for a few years. Her name is Daisy. She has a lot of really nice friends. One of her friends even knows Tara, who was invited, who also invited Elle and Darcy. Of course, when then Elle invited Tao, he obviously declined, but Elle is forcing him to go, and now it's just up to me to invite the person I want to be there most, Charlie. We've been spending every weekend together for a while now, and I can't imagine a weekend without him. I'll be devastated if he can't go. He sat down. Hi. I say, looking into his eyes. Hi. He says back. It's like clockwork. Every morning we greet each other like this. I'm already here waiting for him, and he comes in a little after me, and we say hi. I grab his arm that was on the table and got his attention. He looked at me immediately after. I have a question to ask you, 
He half smiled. And that would be, he said, peering down at my hand that was still gripped onto his arm. I didn't even realize I was still holding onto his arm. I blushed and removed my hand quickly before continuing. Would you like to go to a party with me? I could see the sudden panic fill his body. I don't really do parties. I leaned closer to him. Please, Harry and them aren't going to be there. It's just at my friend Daisy's house. She goes to a different school than us. He looked a little more convinced. I don't know. I smiled, knowing I was making progress with him. Well, one of Daisy's friends knows Tar- Tara, and she invited Tar- Darcy, and L plus L is bringing Tao along, too. He looked quite taken aback by what I had said. Wow, I can't believe Tao didn't tell me he was going to his first ever party. I felt sad, knowing Charlie, knowing how much he values their friendship. He was probably going to tell you at lunch. I said sympathetically. He smiled and nodded. I'll go with you. Not them. They didn't tell me, he says. My cheeks go red, just thinking about spending all night with Charlie. Thanks for coming with me. I don't really hang out with Daisy anymore, so it'll be nice to hang out with you. You're kind of like my best friend. Right as the words left my mouth, I wanted to take them back. He was probably scared off now. We have haven't been friends that long. My thoughts were stopped by Charlie's arm wrapping around me and his small frame leaning against me. You're my best friend too, he said shyly. And I felt like I never wanted to let go of his hug. I know me and Charlie don't have a typical friendship. It feels almost evolved and that's what I like most about him. I feel like I'm around him and that feeling is different. I'm different around him and that feeling is one I never want to live without. The bell rang and me and Charlie had to part ways. As he had band and I had maths, I of course walked into his class and before we could walk into the music room, I grabbed his arm pulling him back. You're coming to rugby practice today after school, right? I missed you yesterday when you just started to ditch us. He laughed, and his smile is... Oh my god, it's contagious. When I see it, I can't help but smile. I'll be there, he said. I let go of his hand and headed to maths, excited for rugby practice. All right, that is the end of today's episode. Goodbye, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between. And I will, s- good morning, good afternoon, or good night. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, friends.